Okay, this is what we're going to do. We've got our little pipe. Okay. We're going to put our port here. We're going to put another port here. Okay. So if you're looking at it, a bird's eye view, we're going to have a port here. I'm going to put another one here too. And then we're going to have this port here. Now this port and this port are going to be 30 degrees off to the side. Okay. Because our straight line for that we go by is going to be going like this and that. That's our 90 degree point. Okay. That's your 90 okay. degrees. This is how we're going to start our layout. We've got it on a nice sturdy spot on the table so it's not really going to rock and roll on you if you don't want it to. And there's a couple different ways to go ahead and lay it out. You can use a framing square and just set it on the table like that and try to find your center. But that's not always really good. So uh, what I like to do is use a, a center head level and you can use combination square and your other little center head square and you just set it up just like this wrong direction okay tighten it up and what you use you can use the level on your combination square to find your bubble okay then you can make your mark down below and that works fine but I like to use a regular a pipe welding center head level and it's got an adjustable bubble on there so you can find your degrees you can get them at any welding supply so you go here here's your starting point there you go you can let go of it you don't have to worry about holding on to it and using that that third hand that I made on a couple episodes ago so get it on zero and this has just got a transfer punch on it. It doesn't have a very hard tip on that punch. So you just want to go ahead and just tap it. Nice and easy. Make your little mark so you don't lose where it's at. Then you come back with the standard center punch and give it a good whack. Just like that. Then what we'll do, we come back and make sure it's still on zero. Pretty close. Then we go back, slide it on over, find your zero, just tap it, then mark it, and then hit it with your big center punch. Then you come back with your straight edge and get your two points. You can use a scribe, you can use soapstone. There's your two points. Now you can use your combination square and find out where you want to set your two ports. And I said two inches. So you set that at the two inches. But now you know that, that these are your center points on both ends. You don't have to measure from one end, you don't have to measure from the other end. You can go from this point to that point and make sure they're in the same spot. So we go two inches, and that two inches doesn't necessarily have to go to that point where you hit at the center point. Now you got your two inches, then you hit that with another center punch, and that's where you want to place the center of your port. And you make a good circle. And do the same thing. I'm going to cheat a little bit. I'm just going to go two inches off the other end. Just like that. There. Now you got those two ports. Now you put your port on there. You got a little bit of rock, so you don't have to grind too much. You can just cope it out a little bit on both ends with just a hand grinder. Just sitting like that. So now I go ahead, I take my center punch, let's go around here, it's like that.
That way you can see it when you cut it. You do it to all to the other holes too. So now we get our plasma cutter and we'll cut that. Okay, now we've got it set. Now remember, since you're going to start the cutting on a surface that where there's no hole yet, it will pop on you. So just take your time and start that easy. With other like mild steel and an oxygen acetylene, you have to heat it up before you can blow a hole. But the plasma, it'll go right to it. So make sure you got your eye protection, your gloves. Find a comfortable spot to set your hand if you can. Even though you're making a circle, you can I've never been able to make a perfect circle ever. You try and try, but that's why I put the center punches there. Okay, well now we got those cut. What I did, I took this piece of scrap and I put it inside the pipe because when you're blowing through the, the material, you get all those sparks inside of there. So this just helps you get that slag and clean it out easier and stuff like that. That way it's easier to wipe out. So now we'll go ahead and we'll clean all that out, make it all nice, get the slag off of that on the inside. And we got lucky, I don't have to do much to this because that'll fit right on in there. And once it's cleaned out, it'll be flushed to the inside and uh, we can tack it up and start TIG welding it. Let me clean that up. And just like that, just like that. And then let's weld it. <laughs> 